I guess the question is, is Gareth Bale back? Is Gareth Wales back at it again? And I'm not going to say yes, but I'm not going to say no. Is Deli Ali back at it again? I'm not going to say yes, but I'm not going to say no. Is Lucas Moura back at it once more? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out in the coming weeks. And I think the next couple of weeks will essentially decide the season for Spurs. Hey, no, Ridge with the comic here right now. We're just going to be reviewing, having a bit of a talk about the Spurs game today in the Europa League. A big one, a big game for the season. And I say a big game for this season because in most cases, in most seasons, the Europa League is like, it used to be called the Mickey Mouse Cup. Like the Carling Cup, the Carabao Cup is the Mickey Mouse Cup. And the Europa League used to be called Mickey Mouse Cup number two, basically. Nowadays... Not so much. And that is essentially because UEFA did one of the smartest things they've done in decades, which was to give the Europa League winner a Champions League place. And that just legitimizes the competition so much. It made people want to win it because it means if they don't get to the place domestically to get a Champions League space, hey boys, we're still in the premier competition. So I think that's our best option right now in terms of trying to get Champions League football next year. And that's why Mourinho is actually putting out full strength teams to some degree in the Europa League and has been doing for the whole season so far. It's a big competition for us this year. It could be the one that we end up going very far in, just like in the Carabao Cup, we're in the, the final now against City. The problem with that is, if you win that, you don't get in the Europa League anymore. You now get into the Europa Conference League, and when there's conference in front of a league, um, it's never a good thing. No, it's never a good thing. So it's like the third tier competition of European football, which I think while UEFA did one of the smartest things in giving the Champions League spot to the winners of the Europa League, one of the dumbest things they've done in a very long time is making a third tier European competition. I don't know why you do it. I don't know what type of thinking you had to say, this is a real good idea. It's going to get the eyeballs on people watching a team from Gibraltar play a team from bloody Andorra. It's just not. It's not really the best of ideas, but then, you know, UEFA, they're a bureaucratic mess, to be fair. They really are. But this game could have been a big time slip up for us. All right, Wolfsburg are not a bad team in Austria, doing bits. I know we beat Lask earlier on in the season, but, you know, they have a, a very good type of play. They play very attacking, and I thought if we sit back, we could get done in here. But Mourinho somehow decided... We played so outward going, we played so offensively, so positively against Everton and we still lost 5-4. Nuts, we still lost 5-4, which means maybe the outscoring thing doesn't really work for us. But then against City, we held back and it wasn't really a very good performance. So now maybe he said, you know what, go and do it boys, go and attack, attack, attack. And we ended up getting a pretty good result in 4-1. Essentially, not going to say we're 100% through to the round of 16 now, but essentially we're through. And it was an attacking fiesta from the boys, all right? Kane was not there. He didn't even make the trip. But Son led the line. Bell had a very, very good game. Ali had a very, very, very flary game. And Lucas Moura put on the burners, turned on the rapid motion, and started blitzing through people like they were in no man's land. And you know if you know and you don't know if you don't know. No man's land is, uh, you know, it's no good. And he was causing the no good. But the first half was actually very good for the boys, all right? 3-0 up at halftime, deservedly so. We were playing incredibly well. Some of the best football we've played this season, probably. I mean, it was going all over the place. There were quick touches, triangles all over the pitch, squares all over the pitch, five people touching the ball in the space of like five meters. And we ended up getting three very good goals. Son's goal was an assist from Bell, which, I mean, that popped up out of nowhere. Then Bell scored an absolute screamer, like the balance and the power he put into what he was doing when he cut back and went boom. He literally went boom. I kind of thought, is this Gareth Wells of old? Is it? I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I'm not expecting it. But he does now have five goals in all competitions. So they might mostly be in the Europa League and the Carabao Cup. But nonetheless, five goals. What do you want? Do I want 10 goals from him in that time? Do I want 20? No. I said 10 to 15 would be great. I lowered that to 10. And if he gets 10 goals by the end of the season in whatever competitions they come in, can I really hate that? Probably not. 
I can't really hate that. Then Lucas scored an absolute blinder. Worldy coming out. The guy has those twinkle toes. You know in Avatar, The Legend of Aang? Toph used to call Aang twinkle toes. And I feel Mora has his spark back here because he was just jetting off. Vinicius popped in with a goal after they'd scored their goal from a penalty from Sissoko. Don't get me started. It was a bit of a silly penalty giveaway, but you know, you make mistakes. Then they hit the crossbar before we went 4-1 up. But 4-1, good result. Job done. Completo, finito. Demizo for them. All right, it's finished. If we lose now in the second leg and we don't go through, I think there's some heads on the chopping board because this just seems improbable. But then you never know. You remember that Paris Saint Germain Barcelona game from many years ago? It seemed impossible, it seemed improbable, but they did it. Spurs against Ajax, it seemed impossible, but they did it. Liverpool against Barca, it seemed impossible. But they did it, so never count anyone out, but it would be pretty shocking if we didn't go through now. These Austrian lads actually played well. The problem is, I think Spurs actually had a very good performance all the way through the team. So, when that's the case and people are actually playing well, and they're playing well as a team and individuals, I think that Spurs can be a very good team, but the problem is sometimes things don't work properly. I think when Son came off the pitch at halftime, some of the attacking flair went, most of the attacking flair went, but that's just how Spurs play. You need Kane and Son or Kane or Son on the pitch at all times. And I feel Ndombele brings an additional spiciness to what's going on. And I think he can do a job for us in the center of the park and as a number 10. But I think that works when either Kane or Son are with him on the pitch. And I do think if Kane, Son and Ndombele are together, we don't really lose that many games. If they play all 90 minutes together, it doesn't really happen. So maybe that's just what we need to do. Stick Hjolberg in there as well. Hjolberg, he's the guy. He's the guy. While the second half might not have been exactly up to standard, we did the job in the first half. And if we score enough goals, we will outscore people. We just need to score enough. Maybe three isn't enough. Maybe four is enough. But as shown against Everton, sometimes four is not enough. That's just madness. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Gareth Wells himself is going to come after you. You don't want that. No, you really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Grand Wolf. See you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. You've been doing it every day for over two years now. We ain't stopping till we get 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow. That's Tomorrow for some more quality shitty content because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also bring the bakwas. Bakwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And we also do that. We do a lot. We do a little. We do everything in between. It's kind of like a hodgepodge. I call it the buffet. You don't know what you're going to get on a daily basis. But you get something and consistency is key. And if nothing else, we consistent. We consistent as hell. Where is consistent as hell is hot? I can guarantee you that. So see you tomorrow. More of the same, but slightly different. But essentially, the very same once more. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.